Hey, welcome back to Tybee Time. We're going to do Steakums, cheese steak sandwiches. In here I've got one whole onion and about eight mushrooms. And they're in some olive oil and butter sauteing. Over here I've taken a hoagie roll and I melted a little bit of butter with some garlic powder and spread that on top of the roll. And next we're going to get the meat out. Okay, so here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Steakums. We're going old school. I'm just going to use three of them. There's six in this box. And my hoagie roll, I'm going to turn upside down on an aluminum foil pan. And I'm going to put that in a 375 degree oven for five minutes to get that toasted. Now back to the onions and, and um, mushrooms, I put a little salt and pepper and garlic powder in there. And that's about it. So I'm going to get back over here and I'm going to do the steak in a pan and get some cheese out and we'll pull it all together. Okay, I put my onions and mushrooms aside into a separate dish and I just added my three steakums into a frying pan and it's on medium high and they don't take long at all. It's like a minute on the first side and 30 seconds on the other side. So this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bust it up, get that heated through. I've got a minute left on my hoagie roll that's baking in the oven. And I've got some Swiss cheese and some American cheese that I'm gonna put on top of this. And I'm gonna put that back in the oven with the meat and the onions and the mushrooms and the cheese. We're gonna be right back. I just wanted to remind you that I also put a little salt and pepper with the meat. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder too. My bun's out of the oven. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull it all together. I'm gonna to put all the meat, the cheese, the pepper, or excuse me, I keep saying peppers. The mushrooms and the onions are gonna go on and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a couple minutes. Okay, I put some Swiss down on the roll and now I'm gonna add my meat. I also added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to the meat, just a touch. It was probably like a tablespoon, if that. It may not have even been that much. Okay, so here's all the meat going on my subby roll, hoagie roll, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I dropped a piece. And now I'm going to add my mushrooms and onion. And I know I made a lot of that, so I don't need to put all of that on. I'm gonna put some aside to make another sandwich another day, maybe tomorrow. That looks beautiful. Okay, but I can't stop there. This is gonna be a really big sandwich. I also have some American cheese that I'm gonna throw on it. Hang on, let me get myself pulled together here. All right, I think I'll go with two pieces of American. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the oven. And it's gonna be in the oven for probably three to five minutes. I'll let you know exactly. I'll let you know exactly. I'm going with three to five minutes. Okay, timer just went off. This is ready. Let me get this out. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh, it smells so good too. All right, let me get a plate and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Here it is, right out of the oven. Put that on a plate. Get everything from it. All right, I'm gonna Put the top on. Oh my Lord, look at that. How beautiful is that? And then I have some Heinz 57. It's a beautiful sauce. And I'm gonna add some of that to it. So there she is. What do you think? Uh, beautiful, right? Thanks for watching.